Hello learners, this is Jyoti Manjal. I am an assistant professor at Department of Management Studies in Uttarakhand Open University. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss price and output decision under monopoly market. So the content for today's lecture are there basically there are two approaches to determine equilibrium price under monopoly. So we'll discuss the first approach that is total revenue and total cost approach. After that, we will discuss marginal cost and marginal revenue approach. So uh, let's in the last lecture, uh, we have already studied what is monopoly. So let's recall what's, what is monopoly. So basically monopoly, it is a combination of two words that is mono and poly. Mono means single and poly means seller. So basically monopoly market is a market where there is only a single seller. So there are basically three necessary conditions for monopoly. The first condition that is there must be a single seller only because in case if there is more than a single seller then there will be competition between them. The second situation for monopoly that is the product should not have close substitutes. So the product which are being sold under monopoly market they don't have close substitutes and the third condition which is essential for a monopoly that is in monopoly market there are strict barriers for the entry of new firms because under monopoly there is a single seller so in case if the new firms they will also come they will also enter then there will be a competition so to stop that competition there are strong barriers imposed so now I hope that this monopoly is clear to you. Now let's start with the topic that is price and output decision in the monopoly market. So in monopoly market, there are two conditions for equilibrium and price determination which are as follows. The first condition that is marginal revenue must be equal to marginal cost. And the second condition that is MC that is marginal cost per must cut the MR from the below. So it means that the marginal cost curve will cut the MR curve from the below. So however, there are two approaches to determine equilibrium price under monopoly market. The first one that is total cost and total revenue approach and the second one that is marginal cost and marginal revenue approach. Firstly, let's start with the total revenue and total cost approach. So when difference between TR, TR that is total revenue and TC that is total cost is maximum, monopolist can earn maximum profit. So basically a monopolist firm will earn maximum profit when the difference between the total revenue and the total cost will be maximum. A monopolist tries to find out the level of output where the difference between TR and TC is maximum by fixing different prices. So basically what the monopolist will do, he will fix the different prices and he will try to find out the price at where the total revenue and the total cost, the difference between these two will be the maximum. The level of output where monopolist earns maximum profit is called the equilibrium situation. This can be explained with the help of given figure. In the above uh, figure, we can see that TR is the total revenue curve and TC is the total cost curve. We can see that the TR curve starts from the origin and it depicts that initially at zero level of output, the revenue will be zero. As there is no production, initially there, there is zero production, so the revenue will also be zero. TC curve does not start from the origin because at zero level of output also, 
firm has to suffer the loss of fixed cost as we can see that as we know that there are two types of cost the one is fixed cost and the second one that is variable cost so even at the zero level there will be some fixed cost the variable cost that will be zero but there will be some minimum fixed cost because of this fixed cost this pc curve it is not starting from the origin total profits of the firm are represented by the profit curve it starts from below o point showing that initially firm is faced with negative profits as there is no revenue initially when there is zero level at zero level of output the revenue is also zero so the profit will also be zero now with the increase in the production the total revenue also increases but in starting phase the increase in total cost is more than the total revenue point a is known as the break even point break even means no profit no loss so as at this point the total revenue is equal to the total cost which implies that the firm is neither earning profit nor suffering loss after point a total revenue is more than the total cost even at this point the profit curve is also rising upward from q1 which means that the firm is earning profit as the firm reaches at point e the profit is maximum at this point and it starts declining after point e so point q will be equilibrium level of output because the profit is maximum at this point marginal revenue and marginal cost approach so this is the second approach in case of marginal cost and marginal revenue appro approach a monopolist will be in equilibrium when two conditions are fulfilled the first one that is mc is equals to mr means marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue and the second condition is marginal cost must cut mr from the below means the marginal cost will cut the marginal revenue curve from the below the study of equilibrium price according to marginal cost and marginal revenue can be conducted in two time periods the first one that is the short run and the second one that is the long run so short run equilibrium under monopoly so short period refers to that period in which the monopolist has to work with a given existing plant in simple words the monopolist cannot change the fixed factors like plant machinery etc in the short period monopolist can increase or decrease his output by changing the variable factors in this period the monopolist can earn super normal profits normal profits and suffer losses basically in short we can say that in short run there are basically two factors of production some will be variable and the other will be fixed whereas in case of long run all the factors are considered to be variable which means that the monopolist can moderate he can change all the factors of the production because they are considered to be variable these three possibilities of equilibrium under monopoly are discussed as follows the first one that is super normal profits so in the given figure we can see that x axis denotes the output and y axis denotes the price so SAC and SMC are the short run average cost and marginal cost curves respectively while AR and MR are the average revenue and marginal revenue curves respectively 
if the monopolist determines the price more than ac means average cost he will get supernormal profits the monopolist will produce up to the level where marginal cost is equal to the marginal revenue this limit will indicate equilibrium output the monopolist is in equilibrium at point k because at point k both the conditions of equilibrium are fulfilled that is marginal revenue is equals to marginal cost and marginal cost intersects the mr curve from below at this level of equilibrium the monopolist will produce ob level of output and sells it at tv price which is more than average cost nb by tn per unit therefore in this case total profits of the monopolist will be equal to eftn now the second condition that is normal profit a monopolist in the short run would enjoy normal profits when average revenue is just equal to average cost so basically when the average cost and the average revenue they both are equal it means the firm is earning normal profit because if the average revenue will be greater than the average cost it means firm is earning super normal profit if both average revenue and average cost are equal it means that firm is earning normal profit and in case the average revenue is less than the average cost so basically cost is greater than the revenue it means the firm will suffer minimum losses we know that average cost of production is inclusive of normal profits the situation can be illustrated with the help of figure shown below so in the figure we can see that the equilibrium point of the firm is at e both marginal cost and marginal revenue are equal at this point so basically when both marginal cost and marginal revenue they both are equal so that will be the equilibrium point so at this point om is the level of output at which firm is producing and at om level of output both the average cost and average revenue are equal so om level of output average cost curve touches the average revenue curve at point p so at point p price mr is equal to average cost of the total product thus monopoly firm enjoys the normal profit minimum losses so minimum losses is the third condition so in case if the short run price falls below the variable cost then monopolist may have to incur losses in case situation occurs and if price falls due to fall in demand and depression then the monopolist will continue to produce as long as the price covers the average variable cost in case the price falls below the average variable cost then monopolist will stop production because the monopolist is not even able to cover his variable cost average variable cost so basically he will stop the production at this point so a monopolist may bear the minimum loss equal to fixed cost in the short run equilibrium therefore equilibrium price will be equal to average variable cost this situation can be also explained with the help of the given figure in the up uh, in the figure we can see that monopolist is in equilibrium at point e so because at point e marginal cost is equal to the marginal revenue and the mr uh, that is mc curve it is cutting the mr curve from the below so this is the equilibrium point 
and the level of output at this point is OM. So at OM level of output, equilibrium price fixed by the monopolist is OP1. So at OP1 price, APC that is average variable cost uh, curve, it touches the AR curve at point A. From the prevailing price, the firm will cover only a average variable cost. At OP1 price, firm will have to bear the loss of fixed cost that is upper A per unit. The firm will bear a total loss equal to the shaded area that is PP1 and PP1AN. Now the monopolist will stop production. If the price falls below OP1, it, it is so because if he continues production, he will have to bear the loss of variable cost along with a fixed cost. So these were the three conditions under monopoly uh, when we determine the price with the help of marginal cost and marginal revenue. So these are the conditions under short run and because in short run the firm can face three situations that is abnormal profits, normal profits and the third one that is minimum losses and in the long run the firm it only faces one situation that is in the long run the firm earns super normal profit because in the long run the firm can fix all the factors or basically we can say that the firm monopolist firm can moderate its factors of production because it is considered that all the factors of production are variable unlike in the short run so this is all about price determination or price discussion under monopoly market thank you